So it looks like Kenya Moore is blasting Marlo after it was revealed that Marlo's home was broken into on July 1st. And according to Kenya, Marlo told none of the girls on the cast of The Real Housewives of Atlanta. Welcome back to the Kempire Daily YouTube channel, your number one source for pop culture news and music, entertainment, reality TV, and so much more. As always, be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on breaking news when we go live or when we upload. So it was just yesterday that we reported on Marlo Hampton being on your local news in Atlanta and all of you calling in yesterday when we were recapping Atlanta, telling me the crime situation in Atlanta. <laughs> I had no idea. I mean, I'm here in New York, so crime is a lot better than it was in the 80s, allegedly. I don't know. Um, but I didn't know how bad it was. They were telling me that even the homeless get robbed? What is going on? So I didn't expect that this story would make this sort of turn. So for those that miss our coverage of the Marlo Hampton situation, so according to Marlo Hampton, these men, these four men broke into her home and she was in a she went to a panic room and we're all like, you have a panic room. I know this this story was all over the place, but this story was real because Marlo Hampton was just one of many celebrities and influencers that had been robbed in a slew of burglaries from these men. These men have now been arrested, thankfully. When I heard the boom, when I heard my nephew scream, and I knew that scream was a scream of fear, my heart dropped. Real Housewives of Atlanta star Marlo Hampton says she's a real crime victim. After the attempted burglary of her Sandy Springs home July 1st, that police have now told her is tied to other incidents. She said she went to a panic room, called 911. The suspects who kicked her door and fled, possibly because she yelled. Sandy Springs police were there quickly, and she thanks God. Just thank God that we're covered in the blood of Jesus, and I'm here to share this story with you. But my main concern is I want all the the ladies I want everyone to be aware if you are posting items if you do have luxury items be careful but that has not stopped the crime that's going on in Atlanta Atlanta come on we got to do better I didn't expect this story to take this sort of turn though Kenya Moore has taken to social media retweeting the story the Peach Report story coverage of this situation with Marlo simply saying this happy no one was hurt but she took the time to withhold information from the cast that could possibly help keep us safe but was happy to release details in interviews we can go back and forth on this but hear me out I know a lot of you are going to say well you guys are in a good place so why would she call you but she loves Brooklyn I know Marlo loves Brooklyn, that little interaction with, with Brooklyn. I was like, oh, this, this is sweet. I like seeing Marlo with the kids. But she's also friendly with the other cast. I want to know if the entire cast didn't know. Did she call Sheree? Did she call, you know, well, Candy Yams, she, she has had a mixed relationship. This situation happened on July 1st. We just found out about this yesterday. So over two weeks ago, this happened. And according to Kenya Moore, she told no one on the cast, okay? And here's the thing, and we've seen this throughout the season. Marlo says one thing, says, oh, I love us, I love you guys, I love us for real, I love you guys, but her behavior, especially for people that really have had her back, people that have really tried to help her over the years, like Candy, I'm not gonna even put Kenya in this situation. But Kenya has a little girl, Kenya's out there by herself in that home, more manner by herself. Sheree's over there. I mean, she got she got her dog and her family in, in there. But Kenya's by herself. Even if you don't like Kenya, and I get it. When when does the reality TV situation and the reality TV drama and feud end? Because even if there's somebody I don't like, and there's plenty of people I don't like, if I knew of something that could protect them, but this is just me. I would either reach out to them myself or someone I know that know, speaks to them, reach out to them. Can you just let them know? Lock your doors, do something extra to keep yourself safe. This happened to me. I was so worried. But in the interview, you hear Marlo say, well, I just want to give a warning to other young ladies. And How about you call your, your friends and your castmates? 
girls. I don't know what's happening in Atlanta. You and I'm sure these ladies know that there are things happening in Atlanta because so many of you called in yesterday and said at least Atlanta streets are hot when it comes to this stuff. But giving a simple message to one of the mutual friends that you guys have in the cast, can you just let her know? I, I'm concerned because I know she's out there by herself with Brooklyn. Marlo talks a good game on this show, but at the same time, it's talking out the side of her face because a, a lot of times she's not really proving with action that she cares and really loves these women. Don't Y'all know me. I'm not going to tell you I love you if I don't really mean it. I appreciate all the love you guys give me, but I'm I I have such a a respect for the word love that I don't use it willy nilly for people. Okay, I don't. I love the love that you guys give me. I love the love that that I receive, but I'm not one to be like I love you, girls, because my action will follow that if I say that I love you. And what we've seen throughout the season, Marlo has not done this. She has not proven with action that she really respects and loves these women. And yes, they're castmates. But some of these women, as she has said, she's known for years. She's known for years. But her action has proven that she's only out for self. I didn't expect this story to take this sort of turn, but the fact that she didn't even tell these women, if this just happened this week, it would be one thing. This happened over two weeks ago. Two weeks ago. And they just nabbed these guys. Atlanta, stay safe. No matter where you are in this world, stay safe. Watch your back. I want to know your reaction to this. Do you think that Kenya Moore is overreacting in regards to this and taking it to social media? Or you agree that Marlo should have reached out to someone, to at least some of the ladies, to let them know what happened? Not to tell your business, but to warn them. The streets are hot. Lock your doors. Have someone come over and stay with you. Guys, let's continue this conversation below. I want to know your reaction to this story. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on breaking news when we go live or when we upload. Thanks for watching.